Welcome to Feature Engineering for NLP in Python. I am Ronak and I will be your instructor for this course. In this course, you will learn to extract useful features out of text and convert them into formats that are suitable for machine learning algorithms. For any ML algorithm, data fed into it must be in tabular form and all the training features must be numerical. Consider the Iris dataset. Every training instance has exactly four numerical features. The ML algorithm uses these four features to train and predict if an instance belongs to class Iris Virginica, Iris Setosa, or Iris Versicolor. ML algorithms can also work with categorical data provided they are converted into numerical form through one-hot encoding. Let's say you have a categorical feature sex with two categories, male and female. One-hot encoding will convert this feature into two features, sex male and sex female, such that each male instance has a sex male value of one and sex female value of zero. For females, it is the vice versa. To do this in code, we use pandas get dummies function. Let's import pandas using the alias pd. We can then pass our data frame df into the pd.getDummies function and pass a list of features to be encoded as the columns argument. Not mentioning columns will lead pandas to automatically encode all non-numerical features. Finally, we overwrite the original data frame with the encoded version by assigning the data frame returned by get dummies back to df. Consider a movie reviews dataset. This data cannot be utilized by any machine learning or ML algorithm. The training feature review is in numerical. Neither is it categorical to perform one hot encoding on. We need to perform two steps to make this dataset suitable for ML. The first is to standardize the text. This involves steps like converting words to lowercase and their base form. For instance, reduction gets lowercase and then converted to its base form reduce. We will cover these concepts in more detail in subsequent lessons. After pre-processing, the reviews are converted into a set of numerical training features through a process known as vectorization. After vectorization, our original review dataset gets converted into something like this. We will learn techniques to achieve this in later lessons. We can also extract certain basic features from text. It may be useful to know the word count, character count, and average word length of a particular text. While working with niche data such as tweets, it may also be useful to know how many hashtags have been used in a tweet. This tweet by Silverado Records, for instance, uses two. So far, we have seen how to extract features out of an entire body of text. Some NLP applications may require you to extract features for individual words. For instance, you may want to do part of speech tagging to know the different parts of speech present in your text as shown. As an example, consider the sentence, I have a dog. POS tagging will label each word with its corresponding part of speech. You may also want to know how to perform named entity recognition to find out if a particular noun is referring to a person, organization, or country. For instance, consider the sentence, Brian works at data camp. Here, there are two nouns, Brian and data camp. Brian refers to a person, whereas data camp refers to an organization. Therefore, broadly speaking, this course will teach you how to conduct text pre-processing, extract certain basic features, word features, and convert documents into a set of numerical features using a process known as vectorization. Great! 